most impressive. Feel, don't think. Fear is my ally. The Force will be with you. We are encouraged to love. Be mindful of your thoughts. I will not betray the Republic. Hey, your worship, I'm only trying to help. Scruffy looking nerf herder. I'm not afraid. You must unlearn what you have learned. In keeping with the trust he added, starve a cold, disgust a fever. So this happened. Elon Musk on Saturday, and I missed it. I'm sorry. Uh, basically called out Kathleen Kennedy in a tweet that had been sent to him by one of his ex uh, subscribers, followers, and uh, said she was more deadly, deadly than the Death Star. Now, this is just part and product to why Elon is mad at Disney. He is a Star Wars fan, like, like a lot of us. And here's the tweet, here's the first part. Uh, Shibatoshi Nak, um, <clears throat> mocking the acolyte, here's the rest of it. There's uh, Kennedy. Um, of course you're going to respond to that positively. They, they, they need to hear it. And here's what he wrote back. And he's right. Now, what's, the, what's wrong uh, with all this going, with all this? What's wrong is the fact that Elon Musk is now calling Kennedy out. Elon Musk, and look, the subtext is the acolyte, the last Jedi. The, the 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 force shudders, the rise of Palpatine, the stoned Republic, etc. And it goes without saying that he is going to say something. He is a Star Wars fan. He also happens to be the wealthiest man in the world. And, you know, when he notices something, when he brings something up, and again, the subtext is, is the corruption behind the acolyte. If we've heard stuff, you know he's heard stuff, okay? I mean, this is just more anti-Disney rhetoric from Elon, yet it's far deeper. Go f yourself. But go f yourself. Just drew a pentagram on the floor and chanted, I summoned thee three times. <laughs> that we do. Your fiery throne one presiding one more over the dead. word. Your tongue could open a wine bottle. This is just yet yeah, another like she worships the devil. shot well, she at doesn't Disney have to. itself. He worships her. <clears throat> and Bob Iger. But also remember that Elon is paying for Gina's lawyers to go after Disney for her job back. And he's not going to keep his mouth shut. Right? He, I think he's also mentioned Kennedy in other tweets where he's called her out. Um, <clears throat> he hasn't made Bob Iger the target here. All right. Don't know what's going on, but, you know, when you've got Caroline Reed writing an uh, article about the acolyte saying basically that Kennedy's a hypocrite about paying the, the women on her sets uh, where there was no equal pay is uh, fascinating to me. At the same time, you've got Leslie Forehead this weekend backing away from how queer she's made the acolyte. Okay. Um, people aren't watching it. Right? They're just not tuning in anymore. It's got a 13% uh, audience score on R RT Rotten Tomatoes. 
You don't think Elon Musk doesn't see that. And you don't think Elon Musk knows people are rotten tomatoes to ask him what the, what the deal is. Techies know each other, okay? They all know each other. They're, they're, they're an interesting little social hive in California. <clears throat> and Elon's just the biggest uh, name out there. So he's calling Kennedy out for basically being a destructive uh, leader and a poor, a poor leader and incompetent leader. And also the subtext is the corruption that went down with the Gina Carano situation. You know, when you've got someone working for you and they're catching hell because they said something on social media that wasn't harming anybody with and and you actually allowed people who are bullies to pretend <clears throat> their comfort level was harmed this is bullshit but it's also like i've said before mean girl crap the teenagers pull on each other if kennedy was any leader she'd have dragged those people into her office and said I will talk to Gina. All right, tell her to tone it down a little bit. But if you expect me to deny anybody here their free speech rights, then I'm going to deny everybody. That includes you. Okay? If one can't, none of you can. You understand? This is about her individual right, which is dogma in the United States. You have no right to go after her like that. And if I find out anybody here at Lucasfilm started trending a fire, the fire Gina Carano hashtag, they're fired. And trust me, I'm going to investigate. And I would, that's what I would have said. And then I would have said to Gina, Gina, you got to tone it down, okay? I'm not telling you you can't remark on the, 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 the lockdown or the shots or anything. Or this foolishness with pronouns, but time and place, time and place. Okay. And I'll talk to, and I would talk to Pedro. Pedro, they're not Nazis. Okay. So stop it. All right. And, you know, this is what she should have done, Kennedy, and she did not. Instead, she allowed her ambulatory urinal cake. Start up a GoFundMe and lead the charge to remove Gina. Why? Because pride and envy. They were horrified all the boys liked her. Of course the guys are going to respond to Gina Carano. Well, she's not smug. She doesn't put him down. And, you know, the fact is, as Elon said, she's not a bigot towards men, and Kathleen Kennedy is. She hates men. Hates men. Period. Look what she did. Look what she allowed to happen to Han Solo. Luke Skywalker never lifted a finger to say, Wait, we can't do this to these characters. The fans are going to kill us. And it's not, in, it's not consistent with who they became at the end of Return of the Jedi. We need to do something else. We need to find a different path. And, you know, threatening Ryan Johnson with mayhem if he didn't rewrite everything to be a Star Wars movie, not a Ryan Johnson, I'm going to kick over your sandcastle, 12-year-old uh, bully movie because somebody probably wouldn't let him play with his AT, their at, -AT or Millennium Falcon because he was a loser. You know, that's what that was about. Okay, she allowed this to happen because she is a bigot. Kathleen Kennedy is a bigot against men. She hates white men. A lot, okay? And this is something that I think a lot of people here need to be reminded. This is the driving force. She wanted to erase everything George made and make Star Wars her own, okay? In a malicious, thoughtless way. She got called out for it, so she starts screaming about the fan base. Instead of acknowledging there were as many women screaming at her as there were men, all right? The fan base is 20% women, and a lot of women are pissed. In fact, most of us. 
<clears throat> why would you, if you are a woman's rights advocate, why would you hire Leslie Headland, knowing what she knows? That's a question. And, you know, what did Leslie Headland know? That's another question. I'm sure there are people in Hollywood asking. Um, why wouldn't you pay uh, women who did the same job for the same amount of time as, as many of the guys on the sets of the TV shows? Because it's not just the Acolyte now. All right. And or probably too. Why wouldn't you pay them the same? That's another question. It points to hypocrisy. It points to this false armor that women like Kennedy and Hedlund wrap themselves up in when they get called out for their incompetency, their asinine behavior, and their bully tactics. The fans don't need to take it anymore. Okay, Elon pointing out that she is a franchise destructor is a good thing. Elon, call, Elon calling her out for being a bigot against men is another, period. You wanna know why I am not a feminist? It's bitches like these women right here, these two idiots, because they don't represent women. Their feminism is a means to an end. It's a virtue signal. That's it. And if you think there's a sisterhood, there isn't. Watch and see what happens to Kennedy and Hedlund. And bravo, Elon, for calling her out publicly. This is Steph, signing out. See you around the galaxy.